Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Photex Image32 data acquisition and image processing software. After opening the software you'll notice the blank canvas that is displayed. Across the top of the, the window you'll see the menu bar and below that a number of buttons labelled A through to Z. These are buffers into which images can be stored. Image32 supports a number of different file formats. A lot of the standard Windows file formats including bitmap, PCX and JPEG are supported. However we also have a proprietary format called PCT and for most cases we recommend that the PCT format is your default choice for saving and loading files. The reason for this is that the PCT format allows 8, 16 or 32 bit image depths to be stored in a single format file. The user also has the ability to add a description of the experiment that was carried out and that itself is embedded into the data file. We'll start by opening an image. To do this we go to the file menu, select open image and select the file, in this case a file called blob. Press the open button and what we now notice is that the cursor changes to a square with a question mark and an arrow on it and this is saying where do you want to put the image and we can now select an image buffer and this can be any of the buffers labelled A through to Z in this case I'll select image buffer A and we press the left mouse button and the image is loaded and what we'll see is that image buffer A is now highlighted if you move the cursor over image buffer A you'll notice that a small yellow window opens. This gives the name of the file and if it was a PCT format file the description that was saved with the file. If you look in the bottom left hand corner of the main image 32 window you'll also see the name of the file, the size of the, the image and the bit depth. Image windows can be closed at any time by clicking on the cross located in the top right corner of the image window. You'll notice that the image buffer labelled A is still highlighted. This is because the image is still loaded into the memory of the computer system. You can reopen the image at any time by double clicking on the button. If the image window is closed you can move the cursor over image buffer A, press the right mouse button and this will show a mini picture representing the data stored in buffer A. Images can be moved from one buffer to another. To do this move the cursor to image buffer A, press the left mouse button and keep it pressed and then drag to a different image buffer, in this case buffer D. Images can be removed or deleted from the system by moving the cursor to the image buffer in question and then double clicking the right hand mouse button. 